What's up guys? About to film a video for you. Doing some unboxing stuff. Um, just got my tack warehouse order today from Labor Day sale. Um, I spent... It's hard to say. I just bought a truck. And then I spent basically the rest of my um, savings on tackle warehouse. Um, I spent $500 on stuff. So it's a big order. Um, about to take you guys through it. Uh, now you guys yeah. can see where I live. So now you'll be able to see. Basically this box weighs like mm -hmm, 25 pounds. Oh that's cool. That is a cool looking shirt. First things first. Tech warehouse shirt. The tan one was super ugly. So I didn't get it. I like this one though. This one looking pretty sweet. Boom. There's that. Okay. So here's my order total, $469 because I had a $25 off gift card. Um, so it ended up being $469. Okay, so basically I just took it off my head because I don't like the view. Um, I just moved all my boxes over here so that I can place lures here. So to start off with, the whole top is packed with shaky head drop shot baits, cream pumpkin watermelon slim shakes. Um, we'll do all the Slim Shakes first. Uh, more Slim Shakes. 25 count of the Green Pumpkin Watermelon, so same color. Um, basically, a bunch of Finesse Worms and Green Pumpkin Watermelon. Um, Green Pumpkin Hardy Craw. So there's more Finesse Worms. Um, just all drop shot baits for me. Um, now... Here are my favorite craws that I've recently found. Bruiser Bay craws. Um, Green Pumpkin Party. Um, I think I bought five packages of Green Pumpkin. One, two. Another pack of the Pumpkin Party, whatever. Black and blue, black and blue. More Green Pumpkin. Pretty sure I ordered more than that. Yeah, they're jammed down there. More Green Pumpkin, Green Pumpkin. So those are all Bruiser Bates Craws. There's probably more in here, but we're not going to dig through. Oh, yep, here's another pack. More Bruiser Craws. Um, got myself some Swamp Crawlers in the natural blue. Um, baby Brush Hogs in the green pumpkin red. Really good color right there. Only one pack of those. Um, got some Yum Dingers, 5-inch green pumpkin. Got some black and blues. More black and blues. Um, more green pumpkin, green pumpkin. There's more in here. And then green pumpkin neon, which is like a green pumpkin. Rip. I got two packs of the finesse TRDs. I found out that these work freaking amazing um canada craw and then molten craw it's got blue red all kinds of flake in there looking really good then another one of my favorite baits the pit bosses i got one bam of bug green pumpkin um here's some more dingers more green pumpkin pit bosses More black and blue. Black and blue. Um, more black and blue. Pit bosses. Then a pack of plum. Pit bosses. Some zoom Z drop worms in the green pumpkin. Some more zoom Z drops in the green weenie. Here's a pack of the Swamp Crawlers and Green Pumpkin. As you can tell, I like drop shotting and fishing craws a lot. Um, Robo Worms, 6 inch Warmo. Um, baby Bass and 4 and a half. Bold Bluegill. Warmo. More Pit Bosses. Um, 
Warm Oath. Watermelon Red and Black. Bold Bluegill. Um, Baby Bass again. And Warm Oath. So, pretty much a lot of drop shot baits. Um, another pack of Pip Bosses. Um, here's three packs of Craw Poppies for the back of finesse jigs and just plain skipping jigs. Um, good craws. Um, there's so much mixed crap right here, I don't even know what to start with. Here are some drop shot weights. Three, okay, four packs of drop shot weights. Um, one fourth. They're falling off. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Um, three sixteenth, one fourth, um, one eighth, and three sixteenth. I wanted to get more three sixteenths because I have enough one eighths. Um, basically. Oh, here's some more drop shot weights. One fourth ounces. Um, I guess we can do jigs now. Um, as you can tell, this is one of my favorite fl pitching jigs. The M series jig. Um, I got a ton of them. Another M series. These are all three eighths. I'll show you right now. Another M series. These Santones are solid, solid jigs. Um, Um, this color did real good for me this last year. I caught a real nice bass at tournament on this color. Another 3 eighth. Um, more drop shot weights. Okay. Now we're going to move on. Santone finesse jigs. Another pack of them. Another pack of finesse jigs. You guys can basically tell I match all my colors to either craws or bluegill because up here in Wisconsin, what else do they eat? Um, here's a greenfish one. Never tried them, but gonna start using them. They have the same head design that I like for skipping and pitching. Here's another greenfish. Really cool color there. All three eighth ounces right here. Another Santone, bluegill color. Here's a Booyah finesse jig. Um, it was like a dollar or something, so I got it. Another Booyah finesse jig. Here's another green fish. This is a swim jig. Swim jig. Um, Talon fishing swim jigs. These are fr freaking amazing. Super amazing swim jigs. Um, another one. Here's a half ounce spot sticker. Another half ounce spot sticker. Um, here's a Terminator. 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 Another swim jig, black and blue there. Another swim jig. Ooh, that's a little one. That's really small. One fourth. I thought it would be bigger than that. Hmm. Whatever. There's another one. Make sure that's all the. I believe that is all the jigs. So this is all the jigs. Um, next we're going to do all Lucky Craft crankbaits. Lucky Craft RTO 1.5. Um, that's a some gill color. Um, wait for that. Another gill color RTO. Um, here's a craw color. Another jig. Another jig. 
here's oh, here's another lucky craft another gill color all different colors but they're all gill imitators here's a ghost metal color here's another craw craw color there here's a um this is like a, I don't want to say a shad, but more like a shiner. So we actually have shiners in our lakes, so. There's that. Another jig. Um, here, here are the deep diving lucky crafts I got. Um, there's a craw and a shiner color. Here's a mag deep diver that I got too. It's huge. It's the 3.5 XT. The sucker gets down to 20 feet. Got it in the shad color. So these are all lucky crafts. So you can imagine how much um, that costs. Because there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I got 10 lucky crafts. So you can do the math in your head. It's like 100 some dollars right there. Um, I will guess I got some... 5XDs. I'm not sure what color that is, but it's super sick. If you guys want to know any of these colors, since I'm not really saying them, leave a comment, and I'll comment to you what color they are. Here's another one. 5XD. I think that was my last 5XD. I think I only got two fives. Um, Okay, next we will do this. I got a sexy dog, um, the junior. Really sick color there. Here's pad crasher. Cricket color, I believe. Another pad crasher, just a full brown color. Um, here's a snag proof, it's just fat frog. Um, yellow, green, brown color. Here's another Ishes Fat Frog in the green and brown color. Actually, this isn't Ishes. This is just a Bobby's Perfect. Here's another live... Or, this is a... What am I saying? Another Booyah one in a super cool color. And... Next, we got some Chatterbaits. Candy Craw, two of them, 3 8 ounces. Chartreuse White, 3 8 Um... Triple Grips. Size 2. Um, more. No, oh, those are not triple grips. More triple grips. Um, two of the wrong size hooks. Don't really need those. Right size hooks. Two packs of heavy duty wide gaps. Four and three. Um, size 3 split rings by 6 cents. Um, more split rings by 6 cents. 2 out heavy duty, 3 out heavy duty, 2 packs of Sunline Super Flow Carbon and 12 pound, and my sticker. So basically, that right there, this all right here, cost me almost $500. Yup, pretty much crap of gold and twin. Alright, guys, this is the finished. And what you don't see is the, like, $150, $200 worth of crankbaits underneath there. Look at the bill on that. I can, oh, I'm going to have to crank that on 7.6. Alright, last thing to open is my rod. So if you guys are wondering why I got another Powell Diesel. My broken rod collection. Come on. That's what happened to it. It, um, one of the best rods I ever owned for the price. And it just, it, it met a car door. Um, pretty depressing day, to say the least. I was very pissed that day. But, let's unbox this rod. There we go.
Brand new diesel. Boom. There is the finished order. Dope. Well, there you go. There's $500 later. Only took me like four months to make that much money at work. So it was well worth it. Not really. But I did buy a truck. So it is what it is. I got the necessities. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you enjoy it, make sure you tell me. Because um, I haven't posted much. I feel kind of bad. Um, losing my viewers. Um, kind of stupid for me not to post for a while. Kind of wrecked it, but if you guys like this type of video, please tell me because I do get a lot of stuff. Um, I'm fishing out every single day. Um, I use a lot, of a lot of stuff. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.